using the Pythagorean equation, we actually get the distance formula between any two points in the plane. So if we have two points A and B, and these are points in the plane, uh, let's draw them right here. So let's have one point A, have some point B. We can draw the line segment that connects these two together, right? And so the length of this line segment is going to be AB. If I draw AB with a line over it, I'm talking about the line segment. If I draw just AB with no line segment above it, that means I'm computing the length of the line. Uh, so it turns out that the length of this line segment can be computed using the Pythagorean equation because if these points A and B are in the, in the plane, they have coordinates. Let's say that the coordinate for point A is X1, Y1. So there's some X coordinate, some Y coordinate. The coordinate for B, let's call it X2, Y2. So again, some x coordinate some y coordinate and so then using these points a and b i want to form a right triangle so that the one leg of the triangle is completely horizontal and the other leg of the triangle is completely vertical okay so we form this right triangle and consider this point right here this would be the point which this point is on the same horizontal line as x1 y1 so it's gonna have the same y coordinate which is y1 and then this point is on the same vertical line as B, so it had the same X coordinate. So the X coordinate here would be X2 then. So if we measure the distance between here and here, because it's completely horizontal, the distance there is just gonna be X2 minus X1. Um, then if we measure the distance from this red point up the vertical line to the yellow point, since the X coordinate is the same, the, we'll just take the difference of the Y coordinate, so we get Y2 minus Y1. And so now we see we have the, we have the measure of one side of the right triangle we have the measure of another side of the right triangle and we want to know the measure of a b right here so by the pythagorean equation we get that the hypotenuse squared is going to equal the sum of the leg squares so we're going to take x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared then if you want to solve for a b you're going to take the positive square root of both sides and that leads to the distance formula right here so the distance formula is just a rewriting of the pythagorean equation when you see it that way the distance formula doesn't seem as anything fundamentally different uh, to just the pythagorean equation which we already know so for example let's find the distance between two points let's take the point a which has coordinates one three in the plane and let's take the point b which has the coordinates five comma six in the plane so you'll notice right here my point a and my point b and so let's compute the distance between them by the distance formula a b is going to equal the square root of take the difference of the x coordinates five minus one squared um, and then you're going to add to that the difference of the y coordinates squared and honestly it doesn't matter who comes first it doesn't matter who's on first who's on second um, a could be the first point b could be the second point because if you swapped it around right if you took five minus uh, one minus five squared excuse me well notice that the five minus one is going to be four on the other hand if you take one minus five that's going to give you negative four since you're squaring them four squared is 16 negative 4 squared is still 16 by order of operations and so it doesn't matter who's the first point who's the second point in the end when you square things you'll end up with a positive quantity when you're doing this so 4 minus 1 squared is 4 squared which is 16. if you take 6 minus 3 squared that's going to give you a 3 squared which is a 9. 16 plus 9 is 25 and the square root of 25 is a 5. and so we see that the length that is the distance between uh, the point A and the point B is going to be five units. And basically what we saw here is that this distance right here is four. This distance right here is three. And since the distance between these points turned out to be a whole number five, this actually coincides with a Pythagorean triple, a so-called three, four, five uh, triangle. Now we shouldn't expect that to happen in, in generality. Let's look at another example of this. Let's find the distance between the points P and Q right here. Well, the distance formula tells us we're going to take the square root of, take a difference of their x coordinates. Again, it doesn't matter who goes first and who goes second. So we're going to take 3 minus a negative 4. Do pay attention to signs here. We have to square that. We have to also take the difference of the y coordinates and square that. So you get 2 minus 5 squared. Now, sometimes because these square roots get really long, if you want to extend the line or the so-called vinculum, you can do that. I often like to put a little tick at the back so you know where does the square root end in this it's just a little bit of notational help there now notice that you have three minus a negative four so this is a double negative it actually becomes a positive what we're doing here is we're taking three plus four 
And so three plus four is a seven. Two minus five is a negative three. But again, the signs don't matter because when you subtract them, that is after, if you end up with a positive three versus a minus three, that doesn't matter. Because when you square them, you're going to get a positive 49 and a positive nine. And so adding those together, you end up with the square root of 58, excuse me, 58. In which case that gives us the exact value of the distance. Now, if you want an approximation, that's perfectly fine. You have to be careful. Do I want an exact answer or do I want an approximate answer? Typically, this comes from the instructions of a problem you're working on or the context of the problem. And so if you want an exact answer, you'd say the distance is going to be the square root of 58, which 58 is larger than 49, but it's smaller than 64. So this is going to be a number somewhere between 7 and 8. If you consult your scientific calculator, you'll get the, the distance is approximately 7.61577. Uh, Go to however many decimal places you're instructed to do so. Uh, and so we see that this gives us the approximate distance between the two points. And this is typically what happens. If you just pick two random points in the plane, the distance between them will probably be some irrational square root.